If you're not evolving, then you're not living. You're not gaining. You're not learning nothing. All my friends that stayed the same ain't with me. Oh, you changed, CL? Sure enough. You into guns and broads. I'm into flowers and curtains. Yeah. I said flowers. And if ain't nothing growing around you, you ain't watering nothing. You ain't cultivating nothing. Nothing's growing around you. Yeah, that's a problem. Hey, Shalom. Hey, much mercy to you brothers out there that's understanding the new covenant. Uh, much peace to you brothers out there that are growing in the favor of the Lord. And grace, grace is favor. So like if you have favor in this time, um, you're going to have a certain type of understanding. You're going to have a, the belief and you're going to understand that you're in agreement and you're in a covenant with the Lord. You know the Lord like Adam knew Eve. You see, like I think it was Ab it said that Abraham knew Sarah, I think he went into her tent and he knew her. So you're going to know the Lord. Now, it's not the question if if you're in the new covenant is is the new covenant in you. In other words, is the Lord in you, man? And so what, what, what guys are telling us is the Lord is not in them right now. They still have stony hearts. And this is what you have to understand. It's not so much as if. You're in the new covenant. It's, it's so much as if, if the covenant is in you. You see, and we hear all these guys are denying the Lord. And this that's major prophecy for guys to, 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 to reject the Lord. Let me read that in Isaiah 53. So guys are rejecting the Lord. And that's major prophecy. Guys want to talk about chips. Well, you're already under the mark of the beast. If you're not in the new covenant, you're not of God, man. You're, you're just a devil. So it don't matter if you take a chip, because if you if you're if you're saying you're not in agreement with God, you're already of this world. You're of the beast system. Man, these guys are out of their mind teaching. So if you're not in the covenant, you're not in the spirit. OK, you're not in the spirit. You're of the world. All you guys, all you guys that are teaching this for clout and views. If you're not in the covenant, you're not of the Lord. You're not under any grace. If you had grace, you will understand that you, you will have to be in the covenant with God. And you will have to believe in God. Now, Isaiah 53 lets you know that the Lord was, was rejected. All right. They, 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 they didn't like what the Lord was bringing in the first century. And it's the same way now. Guys do not believe in the new covenant. They are against believing in God, bro. Because if they stay stuck to the old covenant, they could be of the world. And so by now, everybody that's rejecting the new covenant, they're showing that they're, they're doing the deeds of their forefathers. So this is major prophecy. Men rejecting the Lord, blaspheming the Lord, lying on the Lord. Being false witnesses against the Lord, saying the Lord didn't bring the covenant yet. And because you guys have stony hearts, that don't mean everybody has a stony heart like you. You see, everybody does not have a stony heart, man. So a lot of guys are not growing in this uh and 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 the and what they're what they call the truth. They're not growing in it. They're dying, they're decreasing. They're shutting up the kingdom of heaven and then they can't go in themselves. So you're not of the Lord if you're not in the new covenant. All right. So if you reject the new covenant, I mean, you're rejecting the Lord. You're not in the spirit. None of you guys are in the spirit. If you've been teaching this for 40 years and you've been teaching men, you're not in agreement with God. You have never been in the spirit. That's why you don't you have a problem with hell. You have a problem with the Gentiles and you have stony hearts. So you have no understanding. So part of major prophecy in this time, too, is them rejecting the Lord again. Like they did before the Lord came and then they rejected. They was rejecting the Lord around when Stephen was teaching and then when Paul was teaching all through the first century. So guys that are rejecting the Lord now, you're not of God. OK, it don't matter how much clout you have with the world. And at this point, it don't matter what you you elders and none of you guys say in these camps. It don't matter what you may think. Well, we're not in the new covenant. Yeah, you guys are not. You, ha you guys have nothing to do with God. Isaiah 53 and um, 3, it says he is despised and rejected of men. So men despise the new covenant. They reject it. They're doing the same thing now. All right. 
So it's crazy, you guys rejecting the new covenant and think you in some type of spirit. The only spirit you guys are in in this time is the spirit of Satan. All right. It says he is despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So who do guys esteem? They esteem and they honor elders that tell you you're not in agreement with God. Guys despise the Lord's covenant. This is what they're doing. So if you reject the covenant, you're not in the spirit, man. You're just a reprobate teaching false doctrine. Until everything catches up with your ass. So they rejected the Lord. And that's what's happening. By them rejecting the Lord in the first century, they rejected everlasting life. And that's that's what guys they don't understand by them rejecting the covenant. They're not in the spirit and they're rejecting everlasting life. John 12 and 48, he that rejected me and receive not my words, have one that judgeth him in the last that have have one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. He that rejected me, how do you reject the Lord? By rejecting his words and his covenant. So, so guys are adamantly against the covenant. They tell you that they're not in the covenant because they have stony hearts. That's you guys. It clearly tells you that everybody does not have stony hearts and the new hearts and the new spirit. The Lord brought that. It's just that you guys rejected it. He brought it. You guys are rejecting it like you rejected it back in the times of uh, Stephen and Paul. You reject everything. You reject the Lord. So none of you guys are in the spirit. Luke uh, 9 and 22 saying the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders. Who's rejecting the new covenant? These elders, these old men that are stuck in their ways. They say they like the old wine better. So none of you guys are in the spirit. You reject the new covenant, but the New Testament is only what a Holy Spirit is. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is not of the old law. Matter of fact, let's read that in Galatians you guys have no understanding, man. You guys have no understanding. Galatians 3 and 2. You guys have no understanding. So by how you rejecting the Lord, um, it's not if you're in the new covenant. It's if the new covenant is in you. All right. So guys that reject the new covenant, the Lord is not in them. They're not in the spirit. How do you think you're in the spirit rejecting um, the new covenant Galatians 3 and uh, 1 and this is what's happening so if you're not in the new covenant you're being bewitched and if you're holding to the old law you're being bewitched you're dead you're dead to the spirit that's why you guys don't believe in nothing there is no spirit rejecting uh, the Lord Galatians 3 and 1 oh foolish Galatians who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before who those eyes, the anointed Hamashiach, have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Let's read it in NLT. Oh, foolish Galatians, you foolish guys in these camps. You all, you unbelievers. Now, just because you guys don't believe and have stony hearts, that don't mean that they go for all of us. Now, when guys say that they're not in the covenant with God or they're waiting, that means that they're not in the spirit with God, okay? They have nothing to do with God in his last day. And they're holding you to the flesh. The law of faith in Christ. Now it says, O foolish Galatians in the NLT, who have cast an evil spell on you for the meaning of the anointed's death was made as clear to you as you have seen the picture of his death on the cross. So men are being bewitched, teaching you that they're not in the covenant and teaching you that you supposed to hold the old law. You are being bewitched and you and you're cursed because you're still under the law. This is the point. Galatians three and two. This only what I have learned of you receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. And so we all know that faith cometh by hearing. That's what it tells you in Romans. Galatians 3 and 2 in the NLT. Let me ask you this question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit obeying the law of Moses? Of course not. Of course not. 
So none of you guys are in the spirit. None of you guys rejecting the new covenant. You're all in a reprobate carnal spirit talking about chips and microchips. You guys are about as senile as, man, it's crazy. So if you reject the new covenant, by default, you're under the beast. By default, you're of Satan. By default, you're of your father, the devil. And this is what the Lord told him in John 8. It's not Esau's the devil. It's our, the spirit of Satan is throughout every race. Mainly our people are the children of Satan. And this is what the Lord said in John 8. This is what it goes to in the first chapter of Isaiah. The ox knows of his owner. Israel don't, don't know. Or they don't even consider. They don't even consider by them rejecting the covenant they're doing the same thing that they did in the first century it says uh let me ask you this question did you receive the holy spirit by obeying the law of moses of course not you received the spirit because you believed in the message heard about the anointed that's right so faith only cometh by hearing and by these guys not having no belief in their teaching they're teaching unbelief man Romans 10 and 17, it says, faith comes by comes from hearing. By the law, no. Faith coming by hearing. That is hearing the good news about the anointing. So that's where the faith is. That's where the spirit is. So if you're not in the new covenant, um, you're not in the spirit. You're not under no grace. None of you guys are under no grace. If you had some grace, then you would understand the Lord. Luke uh, 7 and 30. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves not being baptized of him. That's right. Um, let's read this real quick. Acts 13 and 38. So a lot of you guys, you will not receive eternal life. And none of you have never been in the spirit. It's crazy, man. It is very crazy. Uh, Acts 13 and 46. So they're doing the same thing that they done already. They're filling up the measure of their forefathers. Acts 13 and 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you, seeing that ye put it off from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life lo we turn to the gentiles so when you deny the new covenant you deny eternal life because you're unbelieving that's why the scriptures say the unbelieving all you guys will end up in a lake of fire because you don't believe and following these old men bro they got you get they got it they did they have done a number on you guys they have done a number on you guys bro they really have 20 uh, revelations 21 and 8 but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers they put they put a spell on you they're teaching you not to believe in the lord right now they're teaching you to reject the covenant to blaspheme the lord said you won't be forgiven in this world or in the next they're blaspheming against the spirit bro they hate the new covenant they say new covenant doctrine demon that is blasphemy so by you rejecting the Lord, it's not, it's not, the question is not, is the new covenant here? The question is, is the new covenant in you? It says sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars. All these guys are liars. All of them shall have their part in the lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstone. Who had a part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. 
This is the second death. So this is a plague. The new covenant is a plague upon these guys. So the lamb's wife is the ones that actually are uh, in the new covenant. That have an agreement with, with uh, the Lord. So guys are going to end up in a lake of fire. A place they don't believe. Remember they don't believe that they're in a new covenant. They don't believe in hell. They don't believe that the Gentiles. They don't believe in nothing spiritual in the new covenant. They don't believe in nothing. These guys are of the devil. That's why the Lord said you're of your father the devil. So part of the last, last seven plagues. Like it reads there in Revelations. Is the bride. You figuring out who the bride is. The bride is the ones that actually believe. And a lot of you guys you don't believe. So you cannot be the bride. So John 17. And. Uh. John 17 and 19. John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word and the world have hated them because they are not of the world and the world. They are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. I pray that thou that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world as I am not of the world. So the ones that believe in the Lord, we're not of the world. We're, supposed, we're not supposed to be out there like that. You see what I'm saying? And this is what the Lord was showing us. So it's not if you're in the new covenant. It's if the new covenant is in you. And this is why the Lord said, greater is he that is in you than him that is in the world. So by the Lord being in us, greater is what's in us than what's in the world. The world, they, they don't have God. If you deny the new covenant, you're not of God, man. You're just a reprobate. John 17 and 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You see that? And as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they might also be sanctified through the truth. Right. So the truth is, if you believe in the Lord, then you're sanctified. You're justified. All men that are justified that believe. So you're not justified if you don't believe. All right. Especially you're teaching this Bible and you don't believe in the son and you're, you're holding men to the old law, bewitching men. You are not justified. You're in a reprobate spirit in favor. You don't have no. If, if you are denying the covenant, you don't have any favor. You don't have any grace. It says it says, uh, neither pray I for these alone, but for them which shall believe on me through their word but for them also which shall believe on me through their word so how are you going to show that you believe in the lord it's going to be through your word you through your understanding through your doctrine and everybody's telling you they're not in the covenant with with the lord yet so they disqualify themselves and so all these guys are reprobates all you guys teaching debates all you guys in these camps every last one of you guys teaching that you're teaching unbelief for yourself and everybody else. John 17, 21, that they may be one as thou father art in me, I in them. Father art in me, I in thee, that they may be one in us. So it's not if you're the new covenant, if we're in the new covenant, it's if the new covenant is in you. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me the glory which thou hast given me. I have given them. I have given them. So the Lord has given us the understanding. It says that they may be one even as we are one. I in them and thou in me. I in them. So it's not you in the new covenant. It's if the new covenant is in you. So if you're rejecting the new covenant, the new covenant is not in you. It's simple. If you're not in the new covenant, you're not in the spirit. If you're not in a new covenant, uh, you're you're of your father, the devil. All right. You guys teaching, you're teaching all these things, but you're of Satan and you're, you're denying the Lord openly to an open shame. I and them and thou and me that they may be made perfect in one that the world may know that thou hast sent me and thou hast loved them that thou hast loved me. So I and you. 
and thou in me. Luke 17 and 25. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. You see that? So the new covenant has to be rejected of the majority of our people in this time. It has to be rejected. That's that's fulfilling prophecy again. So it has to be rejected. But what guys don't know is why everybody's rejecting and they're rejecting eternal life. So now we see that the Lord is not in guys, bro. It is very heavy, man. John 14 and 23 and the anointed answered and said unto him, if a man love me and keep my words, me and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. All right. So if you don't love the Lord and if you're not in the Lord, the Lord ain't making no abode with you. Man, we are dealing with reprobates in this time. Luke 8 and 15 but they that are on the good ground are they which in a, which which in a honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. But that on a good ground are they which in the honest and a good heart. So all of us do not have perverse hearts. This is what the Lord brought with many other things in the first century, and it already happened. So if, they, if you don't believe it, that means you're of your father, the devil, and you have been cut off from eternal life. Repent to the new covenant. Come out of these false prophet camps that do not believe. They are unbelieving. So they are deaf in this time. Repent to the new covenant with that A Shalawal.